Welcome to Barbecue Food For You, the Backyard Barbecue Channel. I'd like to thank everyone for the great response to the volcano potato recipe, and today we're going to carry it over with the volcano tomato. Let's get started. Let's take a quick peek at everything you're going to need to get this recipe together. Two large tomatoes. These are called beefsteak tomatoes, but anything works. Try and find something that's a little firm and flat on the bottom. If not, just take a knife, cut a little bit off so it stands up straight. A few strips of some good delicious bacon. One cup of grated cheddar cheese. Baked honey ham deli meat. A third of a cup of cream cheese spread. This is herb and garlic. Two ounces of fruit wood for smoke. This is cherry and that's what two ounces looks like. And some toothpicks to pin the bacon down, preferably with no color. It's a gorgeous day out here in Barbecueville and I just want to show you guys I do this for you. So hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and we'll get this grill fired up. Here's a simple trick I like to do when there's snow on the ground to get the chimney started. I leave a brick and just flip it over so it's nice and dry. We'll get the charcoal in that chimney and get it fired up. What the brick does is stop the moisture from going up in your chimney, getting your charcoal lit nice and quick. Today we're going to be using the Weber char -cue, but this can be done on any grill. Just set it up for indirect cooking for 325 degrees. Simply start with your tomatoes, give them a wash and pat them dry, which I've already done. Then just simply take the top off. Then we'll go in with a paring knife and just cut a circle out. Once you got your circle cut out, make a few X's. And take a spoon and dig out the core. The X's just help loosen it up so it's easy to get out. Take your time, there's no rush. After you have the tomatoes all cleaned up, that's how they should look. Now let's get them stuffed. Take the ham, just cut it into one inch squares. And fluff it up a little bit just to break it apart. Taste a piece. Take the tomatoes and just start stuffing it with layers of the honey ham and cheddar cheese. Sure to push it in there pretty good so it's nice and tight. Take each tomato and wrap it with three strips of bacon, starting at the top and working your way down. Use the toothpicks to pin it down if you need it. After you have them all wrapped in bacon, just take the extra cheddar cheese and place it right on top, pushing it down firmly. Then we'll go get them on the grill. Just got the volcano tomatoes on the grill. Take your fruit wood, cherry, just place it next to the charcoal. That will start smoking away. We'll shut the lid, let it cook for around 40 to 45 minutes, and they'll be all done. Volcano tomatoes have been cooking for around 20 minutes. Here's a quick peek. I want to get that lid shut. About 30 minutes into the cook, and they're looking great. Time to shut that lid. 45 minutes in, time to take the volcano tomatoes off and get them inside. Now just take the cream cheese, I heated it up in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to thin it out and place it on top. It smells great. Time to cut into them and see how they look. Alright, let's see if I can do this without it exploding. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's hot. <laughs> a 
Oh, check it out. It's just a mess of deliciousness. Tomatoes looking good. Bacon's nice and cooked. Got all that smoky cheese. Honey ham and the cheddar cheese. Mm. Time to dig in. The volcano tomato, hot off the grill and ready to serve. Now this can be changed up with any type of flavors on the inside and the outside that you love to taste. So give it a try, be sure to share them with me, and it's easy to do. Barbecue food for you. Give it a try. Mm.